today I'm gonna build the best app possible using one single AI prompt. The goal is simple, to build an app as close to finished and ready to launch as possible. And to show you that with the right prompt, you can save a huge amount of time and potentially money. So are you ready my friends to become one shot wonders? Let's start by figuring out which app builder we're gonna use to do this. Now, I didn't wanna build something super basic because I knew that it wouldn't be good enough for you watching this video. So I've decided to go for something that's maybe a little bit more complex so I can impress you guys and make this video kind of cool. So I did a little bit of thinking, then I went to ChatGPT to fine tune my idea a little bit, and I finally landed on creating an SEO blog writing tool. So it basically is a copywriting tool that's optimized for search engine optimization meaning that you can write blog posts that will then attract customers based on best practice of SEO. And this will actually be quite useful for me because I'll be able to write articles that target specific keywords and attract real customers to my website. But to make sure that this works and to increase my chance of getting a fully built app by the end of this, I need to actually select the right AI coding platform. Now recently, I've been spending a bunch of time in every single AI coding platform that's out there, and I'll release a whole video around that, but I landed on one tool that I think will really be useful that proved to me that it was very good at dealing with this kind of one prompt. And that tool, my friends, is called Blink.new. And this platform particularly grabbed my attention because it had a example of someone who just cloned Google Google, leveraging Google. And that was probably not built with one prompt, but I was quite impressed with the functionality and it showed that it had real capability. But even though we have the idea and we have the actual platform we're gonna use, one big thing that's missing is the prompt itself. In fact, the first prompt that you use inside of an AI coding platform is probably the most important prompt of the entire project. So I'm actually going to be using Blink to try to create a prompt to then feed Blink to create the best one shot app. So I'll try to keep it simple and we'll see what it feeds me. Please don't judge me on this one, it's an experiment. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in, could you create a prompt that I can feed you to create the best app in one prompt that creates SEO optimized blog posts? Don't actually build anything, just give me the prompt. Okay, so it's actually written out a very comprehensive prompt here. Uh, the ultimate SEO blog post generator app. And it starts off with a description, then it goes into the core features, followed by the advanced functionalities, user experience, technical requirements, and then a little conclusion. So I'm actually just gonna copy this and I'm going to open a completely new window with Blink. And here, I'm gonna feed it into it and see what happens. It is cooking, my friends. So let's give it a moment and we'll come back when it's ready. Okay, my friends, not gonna lie, we just ran into an error that was requiring me to actually create a second prompt to fix it. But because this is the one prompt challenge, I don't wanna do that. And that brings us to our first big learning with one prompt you have to prompt slightly different because you wanna have a scope that it can really nail with just one prompt. And so I'm really happy with this first prompt that Blink created. However, I'm now gonna bring it to ChatGPT and I'm gonna spar with ChatGPT and see if we can create a better version of that prompt with a slightly smaller scope without sacrificing the power. Okay, you are a prompt engineer with 10 years experience creating first prompts for AI coding platform. Please optimize this prompt and reduce the scope so that it can be build this app in just one prompt. And then I dump the entire prompt and let's see what it does. Awesome, so now it's basically reduced the size of this prompt and it's now showing me why this prompt is gonna be effective. Reduce scope, step-by-step -step workflow, one strong wow moment, export option, technical clarity. And now I wanna pepper in a couple of additional things so that it gets really good at SEO writing. I'm gonna tell ChatGPT to adapt this a little bit so it can be in one paragraph. I just wanna make this very simple. I wanted to do SERP research, which is a technical term that's going to essentially increase and make the copywriting a lot better for search engine optimization. I'm gonna ask it to do topic level data gathering and also to create an outline before it actually builds it out. Similarly to what an actual professional copywriter might do. I also wanna be incredibly specific about the workflow, like how I want it to work. In this case, I wanna be able to just drop a URL. So for a product that I have, for example, I wanted to scrape and analyze that business or that product from scratch. And then I wanted to save that as context, suggest specific SEO topics. So that's kind of based on keywords. And then I wanted to outline, write, review, really go through that process that an actual writer would go through. So I'm now gonna to come to ChatGPT. I'm gonna ask it to do exactly that. 
and we're then going to see the output that you draft. Okay, my friends, this is it. I have my prompt. I'm actually gonna post it below inside the comments so you can check it out and you can use it as well. But there's one big question left. Is this prompt actually gonna work at all? Is this gonna be functional? Or am I gonna be a huge failure and have to tell everyone that I lost? Smash the subscribe for good luck, cross your fingers, and I'm gonna go back to my computer and input this prompt. All green lights, as we can see here so far, let's wait until it drafts out a preview. And then I'm gonna go straight into showing this in full screen mode and we can see what it came up with. Okay, my friends, it's come back. Let's check it out. Transform your business into AI SEO content gold. Okay, that's pretty cool. But the real test is actually gonna be on the functionality side. Again, this was just one prompt. So I'm on my website on my done for you agency. We basically help businesses to automate leveraging AI and automation. And I'm gonna grab this link over here and this is gonna be the big test. I'm gonna come here at the bottom, I'm gonna put this inside and we're gonna see what it cooks up for us. SEO content topics. So it's generated topic suggestions based on your business analysis and market opportunity. Here we've actually found a handful of different topics and um, let's read what these are. 10 ways AI automation can transform your business operations. Spot on. Explore how AI automation can streamline your business processes, reduce manual tasks, and enhance overall efficiency. And because I fed it some of that SEO jargon, it also figured out the actual difficulty. So the difficulty is how easy or hard it is to rank. And then also the opportunity, meaning how uh, many leads I would be able to actually get from this. Um, and so here, high opportunity, difficulty is medium to rank for. So let's go ahead and click on this and then it's going to jump into the actual building of it. So it's gonna do the SERP research, it's gonna do all this stuff. And let's go ahead and start with the first step. This is frankly very um, impressive, but let's see if it stalls in the middle. SERP research, just analyzing the search results for this and the competitors who also have content out there. Oh my God, it's created an outline. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so the title is good. Understanding AI automation. So there's an introduction. Understanding AI automation, benefits of AI automation, and the full article. <laughs> what? So I'm seeing some minor uh, mistakes when it just comes to formatting, but this is absolutely pretty spot on. This is a pretty long article to it. And now it's still writing the optimized article section, this is nuts. So it's just automatically basically working like an agent. It's now uh, writing optimized article sections. After the outline, we can also come back and see that we can also shift between the markdown, wow, and the preview. And then when I come down here, we see revision feedback. So this is where I can basically have it add specific things. So I might say, uh, for example, here at the end, it suggests some tools. I could ask for it to add additional tools as well. I can also choose to do things like make the tone more conversational. Let's go ahead and use that. And it's now pumped out a new version of this in more conversational English. Oh man, this is wild. So now all I'll do is actually go to the top right here and click on publish right here. And I could add the custom domain. I'm going to be posting the link below so you can see that this is no joke, one prompt, and it's built. So now what are some lessons that we can learn so that you can save lots by creating an amazing first prompt? Let's talk about it. The first thing is to be incredibly clear about the goal that you want. Here it was build an AI SEO copywriter. Second is to be very clear about the step-by-step -step process you want a user to go through. This is the workflow. You kind of explain it in plain English. And if you don't know, then go to ChatGPT and it will actually break down the best process for an actual user. Three is to give it a lot of context. So if you don't know a lot about the specifics of what you're trying to do, learn them through ChatGPT. In my case, I knew that to write SEO articles, you need to know things like SERP. You need to do some research around keywords. You wanna tell it to mimic an actual specialist in the field. And finally, one thing we learned is be more specific about the actual design. Because I wasn't really happy with the outcome in terms of design because I didn't give it any design instructions inside the prompt. And so at this point, you can build this product better than me just by applying a couple of design guidelines on top. Why? Well, because I put the prompt below and you could just add those. My friends, building an app is one thing, the next thing is bringing it to market. And if you wanna learn the whole process, I highly recommend you check out this video, my friends. And now I'm proud to call you my one-shot wonders. I love you, subscribe to the channel. Let's go!